Chris Rogers struck his second hundred of the LV County Championship summer while Darwin Milan made a 92 for the second match running to help Middlesex take control of their latest game with Northamptonshire on the second day at Wantage Road. The home side made 251 for eight on the first day and their innings lasted a further dozen overs on another delightful morning as Ian Buckler and Morris Chambers took their partnership with the ninth wicket to 33 and the total to 282. Middlesex were having to wait to get their innings started. Sam Robson took a sharp catch at short leg off Ravi Patel to get rid of Chambers at last, 35 minutes into the day. And the innings was finished off in the next over by Toby Rowland-Jones, who completed the best figures of his career of 6 for 55 when Azarella edged him to Ollie Rayner. Northamptonshire were all out for 283, Butler ending unbeaten on 48 on debut. It was not as big a total as they would have hoped for, but when Rogers was very close to being at LBW to the very first ball of the reply, Northamptonshire would have not been too downhearted. Azarella instead got the early breakthrough, Robson edging to James Middlebrook with a total on 8 for 1. It was just a start that the home attack wanted as they tried to end a run of three defeats in this competition. But they found Rogers and Milan in good nick for the remainder of the morning and beyond. Rogers had a wonderful year at this ground back in 2006, scoring a triple hundred here, the best of his career. The conditions were good for batting and the bowling had little thrust about it, which allowed these two batsmen to start to ease their team into a strong position. Rogers was a little fortunate with the shot which brought him his 50, the edge flying just wide of second slip. And he'd earlier been dropped there by David Sales on 17. That brought him his 10th four from the 77 balls he'd faced. It was the fourth time this summer that the Australian had raised his bat, forgetting that far. He'd earlier become the leading run scorer in the first division this year and moved past 22,000 runs in the first class game. He and Milan kept going, batting throughout the afternoon session as that good position began to become a controlling one. None of the home attack could manage to repeat the efforts of Roland Jones and the partnership between these two was into three figures and building further. Milan is just settling into the number three spot and this single took him to his second half century in succession, having made 92 in his last knock in the win over Lancashire. This 50 had come off 94 balls and it included 10 boundaries, always a sign that of a good mixture of defence and attack. As the afternoon wore on, batting of course became easier for these two as they continued to lay a solid platform for their team. The partnership moved beyond 150 and Northamptonshire must have started to wonder where their next wicket was going to come from. They have thus far found life in the top flight, a much tougher experience than in Division 2 of the LV County Championship. There was almost an inevitability about Rogers' 100, his second of the season, his 12th for Middlesex and the 68th of his career. This one had been a bit of a breeze at times, coming off 171 balls from which he'd found the boundary on 16 occasions, yet he could have been out first ball. He looks set for another mammoth innings now. He and Milan took their partnership to an impressive 190 runs, with Rogers now closing in on 600 championship runs this year as Northamptonshire couldn't find a way through for some 53 overs. But then some relief for them as Rogers on 106 here and 591 for the season overall came down the wicket to Matt Spriegel only to miss the ball by a distance to lose his middle stump. That relief was short-lived as Neil Dexter came in and struck an early six as Middlesex moved past 200 for a batting bonus point. Milan was run out for 92 last time out and he again fell eight runs short of a first century since August 2012 when with a total on 226 he turned the ball from Andrew Hall to Ben Duckett at mid-wicket. It was a disappointing end to a fine innings. Northamptonshire may have hoped that that might bring a few more wickets especially as an out of form Joe Denley was now in but he made it into double figures for the first time in seven innings in all competitions this season while Dexter added a couple more boundaries to his tally to have his side close to Northamptonshire's total by the end of the day, although the pitch was now getting drier and slower. They ended on 262 for three, with Dexter on 35 and his good pal Denley feeling better, having got to 20. The deficit going into the third day stands at only 21, 
and Northamptonshire will need to use the second new ball well when play resumes to prevent their opponents from earning a big first innings lead.